Hi everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Nerd in Denial. Hi. This week on episode 8, we're doing something a little different. We're not sticking to our normal pattern of anime and superhero. Dogs yawning. <laughs> Mainly just due to the fact that we have an anime that we really got into and we really wanted to talk about it. Yes. And that is My Hero Academia Season 2. Not Sky High. Not Sky High. Uh, the joke is sale. Yeah. But Oh my god, I love this show. Yes. Sec love... Second season is so, so, so. So much better. Yeah. Not that the first season was bad. But no, not at all. We immediately binged it, me for a second time, and so glad I did. Missed a couple things the first time around, so really glad I got a chance to understand it again this time. Mm -hmm. But as, since we talked about some of this before, we will skip mainly just one aspect, which is talking about the art style and the animation, because we really kind of already have our thoughts on it, though I will say they took it up to 11 this season. Yeah. But let's talk about the openings. We got two openings this season. We got two openings and two closings. They were okay. I didn't mind them at I all. I didn't mind them. I didn't hate them. I didn't, like, I didn't like them as much as the first ones. I will say that, but they were still extremely catchy. Yes. And... I feel like the music wasn't as good as season one, but I think season one kind of left the bar very high. Yes. In terms of like yeah. the music. But it made up for it with story and character development and plot. So oh I think, I'll let, it, I think yeah. I'll let it go. Yep. So we'll skip, we'll skip um, art and Now stuff. we'll move straight on to character development, which is going to be the bulk of this. Three characters in particular got focused on so much this season. But yet everybody feels seems like everybody a bit got a little more than they last season. They definitely did, yeah. We now know every, we now really officially kind of met everybody in class 1A and now know everybody's quirk. Mm -hmm. Which we didn't know everybody's quirk after the first season. But the three main people who got focused on in my opinion were Tenya Ida, uh Shoto Todoroki and uh, Ochako Uraraka. Mainly, mainly Todoroki in comparison, to, uh, in when you compare the other two, mm -hmm. and then uh, Udadaka in the back. But I love the development they gave Udadaka because she's really the only person so far who wants to be a hero just as much as everybody else, but for practical reasons. Yeah. She wants so much to help her parents out at the construction company they work for. It, that scene when she's talking to her dad on the phone after oh, it's her so phone, sad. it hurts oh god oh my god it hurts and makes me root for her so much more i couldn't say who my favorite characters were in the first season because they became my favorite favorite characters because of this season mm -hmm. uraraka todoroki and deku midoriya all my favorite characters in the show mainly because of what i see in this season and i think with her it's good to deviate from that I just want to be number one. She doesn't. Oh my god! She yeah. doesn't care. She just wants to help her family. That's all she wants to do. She doesn't care about being number one. She wants to be the best because she wants to help her family. It's not I want to be the best because I can say I'm the best and or say I can beat this person. Yeah. Yeah. And I. It's just nice to. It's kind of refreshing to not see that shown in generic. Uh, what's word? Dedicate or motivation. That's what I'm looking mm -hmm. for. Motivation behind a character in a world like this, where being hero is a job. Yeah. Which we don't. I honestly wish it got touched on more. Which it does a little bit in this season, but I really would like to see that mm. how that works. Yeah. But we digress. Um, <coughs> sh why don't we go kind of in order? We start with the sports games, which. Apparently has replaced the Olympics in terms Hilarity. of pop. Understandable. Yeah. But I love how when they bring it up, everyone's like, oh my god, just a normal school event. In the back of my mind, since I've seen the season, know what's coming, but they remember, they know what, they know what's coming. They've seen it on TV. This is not normal, but it is normal to them. Mm -hmm. But I loved the... That thing was my favorite arc of the season, was the sports the festival. Event. Mainly because I love... I love... Blah, 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 there it is. And I, here we I go. love Midoriya's outside of the box thinking during the obstacle yeah. race, where he never used his quirk. I loved the the tournament because you got to see everybody want to try so hard, and people you thought would make it farther didn't. Didn't, yeah. Creationist girl did not make it as far as you thought she would as somebody who was recommended to go into UA. But I'm glad that they touched that up everyone, on that. Everyone, everyone kind of gets their little moment. 
throughout the entire season. Yes. Yeah, so she like, got her a little moment during to the final grow. Yeah. yeah. There are three main arcs. There's the sports festival arc, the internship arc, and the final and the final exam mm-hmm. arc. The I like this one mainly because it's longer than the other two, but there's a reason that there's so much more that happens in that. After the obstacle course is the what do they call it? The uh, piggyback thing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like a. Yeah. I can't remember. I can't remember. It's like a wheelbarrow type of thing, but not. I can't remember the name of the game. If please comment. Oh below, my god. Yeah. Oh. Uh, to let us know. That one I think was the kind of the low point of the arc though. It's like horseback carriage type of. Thing. It's gonna yeah. bother her all night. Yeah, no, it's bad. I think carriage is in it, but anyway, <laughs> I think that was the weak point of that arc, but still strong in the state in an aspect. Yeah. Mainly because once again, Midoriya has to rely on his friends and classmates to get by. And watching that struggle of like, oh, I'm number one, but nobody wants. To anything to do with me right now because was, I have a giant target on my back was the weird. look on, the look on the fa- on his face when they were announcing the point system yeah second place gets 300 points third place gets 250 points first place gets 10 million points I'm sorry what the look on his face of I'm screwed but it's interesting to have that aspect. that aspect because then you think about it in the real world all might's number one and everyone wants to be better than him, but no one seems to want to be around him or with him. Like, kind of that mindset. Like, he comes in and saves the day consistently. So you're kind of, you're doing, like, a comparison of yeah, him to Midoriya. but it's not necessarily, like, people flock to him, you know? It, he has to yeah. kind of show up and do what he done. Also, um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, I think it's... Uh, Fumikage Tokoyami. Yes, yeah, Fumi uh, Tokoyami. Uh, oh, Raymond who, Bird. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Love him. He was so good. <laughs> he's so cool. He's just he's just that guy in the back who's like I'm cool and I don't care and but I will help everybody. Also, they call him like the Shadow Samurai, which automatically appeals to me. Cause so yeah, are. he's really really cool. But then we get to the tournament arc and the moment of truth. We it's. Todoroki versus Midoriya, and then we learn Todoroki's origin. Oh my god, sweet baby angel, he's my favorite. <laughs> I want to hug him and love him and tell him everything's going to be okay. Called it. He's so cute and so adorable, and I just want to snuggle him. <laughs> we won't go into too much, mainly because I love, watch, I love, I want people to hear this story on their own, but suffice to say, his dad's Fucked up. A dick. Just a dick. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Fuck you. Well, that entire fight of him versus Midoriya was cool. And just like not use. Oh my god. Not just using me- his fire. And being like, no. Fuck you. I'm not gonna do it. Cause I feel like most people have had that moment of like, I'm nothing like one of my parents or my parents. And I will do everything. And I will do everything to not be like them. Like, I I absolutely have that. But I love Midoriya's reaction to that because in this case it's using half of his powers. And Midoriya is like, I'm sorry, everyone else here is trying their damnedest to do this. And you want to do it at, you want to do it half-assed, Mr. Half and Half. Because he's like, I go zero or a hundred and break my entire body. And then some, because this moron decides to flick with his broken fingers. Yeah. And the recovery girl is just like, I'm going to kill him if he survives. This. I'm not going to heal you and you're just going to die. But then he, I'm so glad he worked around that and we'll get to that. Yeah. But that entire fight on so many top ten anime fight lists oh, this, so the last good. year. It drew me and especially, I was just like attached to the TV. At that last moment when they're about to go out and Concrete Dude's got to stop it. Concrete Dude's like, whoa, uh, it's it's done now. Great fight scene. And then I love the fight scene with, uh, just before that, of Bakugo versus Uraraka. Precious snowflake who needs protecting. Him, I, lo- I love the final fight of Bakugo versus Todoroki. Yes. That was interesting. Well, I mean, it, Todoroki would have won that. Yeah, and it's it's more of the him not wanting to use that power, <clears throat> and of course it pisses 
Bakugo off. To the point where he won't accept the metal. Yeah, and he's just like, Hi, to the podium. And then he just holds uh, it like a dog. <laughs> and he still has it later on. Like That's three so hours funny. later. It's so funny. Because I think season two killed it with comedy. Oh my god, yeah. I can't remember what part I had to pause because you were laughing so hard. It may have been that. I don't remember that. Uh, there were, I think there was more than one. All the muttering. Mutter, mutter, nag, 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 nag. But all of that's great. All my kind of took a back seat, but I think... Which is fine, because I think all of the kids and even other teachers got more focus, which is good. Which is good. We got to meet more than... We got to meet more teachers, which I love meeting more teachers. They're all really interesting quirks. Got to see more in the Midnight and her... Yeah. Whole character, which is nice. Yes. Because she's fun. Yeah, she's real fun. Mm-hmm. And sleep uh, uh, Yeah. But after the tournament <laughs> and after Midoriya gets better and everything, we move on to their internships. Which where... is great. Which is a great art. We... I love it. You love the old. You love the old guy. You love the old man. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Nope, but the little old dude is great. I um, love. I love. I love all of that, and I love. Seeing why they picked what they did, because I mean, most like a lot of people have gone to college. You have to do internships, and try, and we've all kind of gone through that experience of like having options or having no options and having to figure it out and pay why you picked what you did. And it's so funny seeing all of their reasons of like, well, I just wanted to be with you know one of the higher up people. Back to go. But or, just before this, well, just before this arc, I forgot one of my favorite episodes. Them deciding their names. Oh, yeah. Because that's a big deal. And that entire thing, mm-hmm. so much, is so interesting. Don't <laughs> <Bakugo laughs> go being a moron. <laughs> King what Explosion the, Murder. I think that may no. have been the part where I died. And then, no, <laughs> Lord Explosion How about you think about it? All right. Lord, Lord Explosion <laughs> Murder. No, you're not getting it, dude. And Stop then we get putting some, murder in it. Then we get some actually really cool names. Uravati for Uraraka. Mm-hmm. We get Pinky. We get... I can't remember the lightning guy. Froppy. 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 The lightning guy's name is really cool. Um, yeah. Red Riot. The... Rock, the stone, mm-hmm. Yeah, he's yep. a good name. Then... Uh, Midoriya picks Deku. Deku, and it's so sweet. And it's it is just such full, a good moment. It's full circle. And... Uh, Infinity Girl. Uraraka. It's just like... In her seat, dying. Because she's like, that, that was me! I did that! And so that was really nice. And then we get to Ida, who we learned re- during the <sighs> tournament arc, his big brother, the man he looks up to most, was taken down by a villain, specifically hero killer Stain. And we see the severity of his injuries, mm-hmm. and his brother asks him, take on my name. And he says, no. Not yet. Not yet. I don't. I don't want it yet. And that's the whole internship. He takes the internship at an agency that's in the city where his brother was attacked to hunt him down. He finds him. There's a big old fight. He gets his ass beat. And And he has to get saved. By Todoroki and Midoriya. Which is, that's such another good fight. Of seeing, like, they got knocked down. They keep getting knocked down. Especially after we see the buildup of Midoriya learning how to, this his, Mm -hmm. essentially a new form. Yeah. Which, um... Is called uh, one for all, full cowling. So in this ability, instead of focusing his power in one body part, he spreads it through his whole his whole body, but at five percent. This is still only five percent of his maximum potential. But finally, he can use his powers without breaking himself. Mm-hmm. It immediately gets field tested against a guy who has murdered professional yes. heroes, and he's a child. And he and like even Stain keeps going. You're a kid. Stop! Like, what are you doing? And then they beat, and then Todoroki shows up, thank God, and mm-hmm. then beats the shit. And they out just of him. That, like that whole fight of them having to work together, and they keep getting knocked down, and they keep somehow like breaking out of and finding out what Stain's ability is. Stain. Which, <sighs> and I love um, Ida's secret move. I can't, I can't pronounce it. The Respiro Burst, mm-hmm. which is real cool. And full, with those in full cowling, they defeat Stain, and it's such a nice fight. Mm-hmm. But plot points, plot points I don't want to talk about too much. Yeah. We get into the final arc of 
the final exams where they have to partner up and fight a teacher. Which is so intense already. Which Oh my god. I, I love the reason behind it. Like we typically let just make you fight robots again. But because of all the shit that's happened this year, we Because got... you've already kind of fought real people already. Well, it's, <laughs> it's also just the fact of this This doubles as switching it up and buffing up security at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, and then we get to see a lot more of the staff. Eraserhead, Present Mike, All Might, Midnight, um, and a bunch of other people I don't yeah. remember the names. Um, the Principal. The Principal. Oh my god. He is funny. Um, and they each have to partner up, and, a lot, and they're all partnered with somebody who kind of exploits one of their weaknesses, and mm-hmm. they have to overcome that. Case in point, Midoriya is partnered up with Bakugo, and they have to go oh against All oh Might. That was, I think, the most infuriating, like, like two and I, a half and episodes I, of the season. <laughs> and I love that it's just like, okay, all of these fights, and then it's happened to happen, and of course their fight's the last one, and then you just go, Why? Oh my God! Like, you just want to go through the screen and just hit all of them. Mainly Bakugo. Oh, always Bakugo, because I fucking hate him. I still hate him. Not, I not your least favorite character. Endeavor is your least favorite character. Oh, I hate Endeavor. Well, yeah, I hate Endeavor because he's a shit-ass dad. But Bakugo is just a little bitch. So, they have to work together, and they sort of, kind of, do-ish. Yeah. Not really. Uh. No. They just get really pissed at each other. And, and it works like, out. I both need to win. We need to win. And it works and out. And then it works out. But I wouldn't say that they work together. Well, they by any means. Uh, they sort of kind of did. They came up with a plan together and it sort of worked. But T- together. The only reason they really passed is All Might reached his time limit. Yes. Um, yeah. But all in all, it was a very good it was a good art to end on, in my opinion, because it was intense, but not too intense. Yeah, no. Nah. Because after mm-hmm. the first two arcs, you kind of... You're like, oh, God. You kind of need a breather. And it, it was it was a fun one, because all the other team-ups besides theirs, it was a fun fight to watch. And we got to see how much the students had grown, mm-hmm. because... They, they th- eat... Like, three or four months have passed in the blink of And they eyes. all had... Things that they still needed to work on, and a lot of them got that development during those fights, like Creation Girl. Like Creation Girl, and, a, and even Todoroki, mm-hmm. and, but the best part was uh, Uraraka's fight in the final exams. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> but, um, which we won't spoil because it's just funny. No, it's, it's really good. But after everybody's passed their exams, I knew this bit was coming. And I could not wait for her reaction to this. Everyone's passed their exams. They all they all are getting ready for the the workout camp, their summer training camp. They're gonna they're all gonna go to, and they all decide to go to the mall and get all the stuff that they don't need. <sighs> and Zoria runs into somebody. The fucking stupid ass hand dude. Stupid ass hand dude. Which, How dare you dress like a normal human being and kidnap him? He didn't kidnap him. Bullshit. I is, I'm sorry. If you force me to sit somewhere with you that I don't want to be, I don't want to be with you. I don't want to sit with you. I don't want to talk. You're kidnapping me. Anyway, and I, and we finally have a end all be all villain. We have a main <gasps> plot other than the adventures of Midoriya. We have the fight of uh, one for all versus all for one. Yeah. Which, I think it's hilarious, first no, of all. Yeah, no, it's great. One big thing I did not understand my first time watching this was the backstory of uh, One for All, which I more get now. That's good. Did you get it? Okay. Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, I was, I'm going to be real honest, I watched this at work the first time. Because he's a bad boy. I was in training. Bad. Uh, but anyway, so I kind of missed it, but now I get it, and I think it's really cool. Interesting development of how uh, All for One is still alive. Mm-hmm. Lips up and you kind of see a brain transferring thing a glimpse but season four is going to be coming out or sorry season three three way to go way to skip one i got confused with seven deadly sins for a second <sighs> so so we got season three coming out in april cannot wait love this show mm-hmm. new favorite new and there's not a single character i despise other than endeavor mm-hmm. i don't even despise baku i hate him I'm annoyed. There's a difference between annoyed by and despise. Like, Bakugo, I kind of understand to a degree. Sort of. No. Ish. I don't get it. I, I did it. I did it in the first season. And then the end of the second season, where he just he says, I'd rather lose than work with you. I'm like, okay, you make no sense anymore. 
No, I, I hate it. I hate it. But, and I'm sure he's going to have some sort of character arc where he finally grows the fuck out of it. But I cannot wait for that to get here. Because I, I want to stop hating one of the main characters. But it was a good season. I cannot recommend this show enough. Mm -mm. Cannot recommend the show. Especially if you like the shonen action, but want something with more substance. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Like superpowers, here you go. You like comedy mixed with action, right here. Mm -hmm. This show has it all. Drama, action, comedy. Everything I want in an anime. But sadly we must come to the end of our video where we I ask her a few questions as somebody who is not a nerd. <coughs> so, my first question... Um, do you have a favorite faculty member? Because you already talked about your favorite character. Uh, he asked me about this the other day. And he thinks he knows who it is. Who do you think it is? I'm trying to remember who, what my hypothesis was. Um, I know it's not present, Mike. Because you said it, or you said one, and then you were like, mm -hmm, is it? And I was like, I don't know, you'll have to find out. I'm trying to remember them all. Hmm. Mm. I honestly forgot, so I don't know. It's a razor head. Because uh, he's in a cocoon, and he's also just like... You connect him on a spiritual level. <laughs> I live in cocoon. In a sleeping bag. It's no ca I that just... bit where the name from Midnight shows up, and he goes, do what you want, I don't and care, I'm going like, to bed. Bloop. That's me. That is me. On a sp I wish I could do that every day of my life. And he's just adorable. Oh, you killed Deku. Oh no, Deku. And he's just adorable, and I love him, and I want to protect him. And That's her thing. Oh, I, She's got the maternal thing. I do so bad. But, so yeah, that's your fair faculty member. Now... Well, it's also because a lot of the other ones, besides All Might, haven't gotten development besides him. Do you remember who gave him the name Eraserhead? No. It was President Mike, when they were students. Oh, okay. When they were doing their name thing. He's like, what do you want your name to be? And Eraserhead goes, I don't really care. And he goes, then you'll be Eraserhead. And he goes, whatever. Okay. Because <laughs> that's his that's his entire personality. Just, uh, just don't that's suck. That's me. Just don't suck. But I'm not surprised by that at all. My only other question is, if you could take one character and make an adjustment, just... Well, as you, in your like in your point of view, fix one thing about them. What would that character? Who would that character be? And what would you fix? Hmm. Like in their personality. Yeah, a character trait. If you would fix a character trait, something with their personality. I mean, do I really need to say it? Well, I'm. St I don't know which one you'd pick between one or another. You have. So oh, I have options. Well, I have. I in my, in my little hypothesis in my head, I have two characters. I just, I think you're going to go with one over the other since you have to deal with one more. Bakugo. Yeah. Being a little bitch. Just Bakugo or Endeavor in my head. Endeavor. Now, how would you fix Bakugo? Endeavor I haven't dealt with enough yet. Now, how would you fix Bakugo, though? Take some of the goddamn pride away. Like, there is no reason. This kid looked up to you. There, I just, ah, I can't wrap my head around the fact of this kid looked up to you and you are a little bitch. Like, why are you awful? Like, Endeavor is a horrible father who just used his children to get what he wanted and awful to his wife, and I, I relate to that, but... I'm not awful to her. No, no, not this. Previous experiences. But... Sorry, I had to throw that out yeah. there. Yeah. The way that sounds. No domestic abuse happening here. <laughs> but... And someone's calling the <laughs> that's it's, all the time we have tonight everybody it's just like yeah everyone has that the parent or if you don't great but people have the parents that are just like you just don't like and you don't connect to whatsoever whereas like Bakugo there's just so many reasons as to why he shouldn't be that way but he's taking everything and he's twisting it and I hate when people do that I hate when people twist it to, you know, fit with their ideas and their wants and, you know, all of that. I just, I can't. 
Now, plus there's only so much whining I can take. Just one last question that's a bit on the generic side, and I apologize in advance. Okay. If, what would your quirk be? Oh, man. I would have to say it would probably be the animal dude. You would like to talk to animals. I would like to talk to animals. I want to be able to talk to these fur, fur babies. Yeah. I would love to hear what they have to say to me all day. Interesting. Because we talk, mom, 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 mommy, let me out, mom. Interesting. That is very interesting. What would yours be? Uh, I'm stuck between two. I actually had one point back when I was first watching this show that I came up with this whole thing mm -hmm. that's very similar to Bird Guys. Okay. Is that it would be pyrokinesis that stems from a phoenix that's inside, that lives inside my brain. Uh, of course, because he's obsessed with phoenixes. They're the coolest thing. That I can use to enhance my speech, to bring, get pyrokinesis fly, but if I use too much of it, he takes over as a, pers as a split personality is okay. my drawback. So that, I thought that would be kind of an interesting little thing. See, you had more time to prepare for this. I've also been doing this since I was like 12 years old. Yeah. Like, I'm feeling mine I made be... my own Zanpakuto from Bleach. I made my own uh, ninja character from Naruto. I've been doing this for a while. He's a fucking dork. I'm a nerd. And you are a nerd in denial, but you're getting a little closer because, I'm sorry, you watched an entire season of a subbed anime and loved it. Yeah. See, I think my other quirk... Like, if I could add on to the animal thing, would probably be part of Midnight's thing, where she can do the pheromones. So you would just be, like, all into nature? Like, yeah, like, super into nature. I, I'm not that type of person whatsoever. I just like having control over things. So <laughs> having control over my animals would be I'm great. Just, I, I'm just manipulative. I would like to be able to have pheromones to get him to calm the fuck down sometimes. Or, you know, whatever. And I would like to be able to talk to my pets so I can know exactly what the fuck they want. Fair enough, but I think that's a good place to end it there, don't you? Yeah. Um, I would say what we're watching next time, but I honestly don't know. We don't know yet. So, as always, like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Patreon, go see the Tokocast if you haven't. We put our first reaction up on the Stardust app, and we, we watched a shitty-ass movie. And we have plenty more to come. Yes. So, please go follow us on Stardust too. We will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.